How do we reconcile the power of science and technology with the well-being of humanity and sustainability? Catalytic strategies and practical initiatives can be introduced to redirect and focus the rising social energies for constructive purposes beneficial to all. Artificial intelligence, we believe, has the potential to be this transformative force in the realm of human security and achieving the SDGs on time. The biggest uh, contributions of AI is personalized learning, which tailors educational experience to meet individual students' needs. The ultimate goal of artificial intelligence I would argue, is to develop technology that serves humanity, right? That, that in all cases improves our capacity to perform, to create, to innovate, to flourish. We need actually to train, you know, the faculty members how to use them effectively and responsibly. AI can be extremely helpful and equalizer, especially from, for someone who does not have a lot of uh, traditional education. We cannot uh, create a sterilized space of learning which is free from using AI. Technology has proved to be a very powerful force for allowing what we call the massification of higher education. And uh, the main processor or the best processor of knowledge or, or information is the life itself. That social development follows emerging structures, not linear ones. The next generation for us is moving into the, from the knowledge to the wisdom. Education for sustainable development because without knowledge there is no way that we can act. Education and advocacy are also a vital component uh, of our path forward. We must engage and empower the next generation of leaders. We need an education for humanity, an education that fosters human security and something that can create a universal identity that transcends our local affiliation. The world has changed. Uh, some things in education are still uh, lingering. Our true strength lies in the softness and gentleness of our souls. And at the heart of our global transformation lies culture. Culture is in its broadest sense. After the end of Cold War, when the peoples of the world that had self-liberated from the criminal communist dictatorship of the Soviet Empire, <laughs> after its collapse, elected by free popular vote in all the liberated countries of Central and Eastern Europe, leaders from academia. We want to from turn our current status from the existential threat to the solutions and to really co-create a global future platform for planet, people and prosperity. The uh, challenges and changes that are necessary in business education in order to um, produce business leaders and tech leaders in particular. The businesses that really tackle and solve um, the major problems and issues in the world, such, such as sustainability, will be the companies that truly prosper in the future. We need to uh, change economic model from focusing on just on economic issue, but uh, include, I mean, develop, I mean, focusing on social and environmental issue.